okay so they have given you a gina diode okay and across which you have a rl 1 kilo ohm now they are flowing the current in the circuit okay input current so they are giving input current okay so i am plotting input current here and input current is you are going up to 10 10 milliampere okay this is input current with time this is your two two seconds this is zero and this is going up to 10 milliampere and coming back to zero okay so you're asking the question okay if i major current here across the Gina diode what is the current profile across Gina diode okay what is the current profile across Gina diode they are asking and they are saying that the Gina breakdown voltage is 5 volts okay so breakdown voltage VBZ is given 5 volt okay so what is the what is the current profile across Gina diode are you are you getting my question what is the current profile across Gina diode they are asking? So obviously their current will be flowing across Gina diode also, also sometime. So the breakdown voltage is for Gina diode is 5 volt. Okay. So it requires at least 5 volt. If, if the voltage across this is less than 5 volt, then that condition what will happen? This will be open and zero current will be flowing. Okay. And this breakdown voltage will become 5 volt when their current is 5 milliampere. Before that, before that, this the Gina data will not turn on, turn on. That means up to one second, okay, up to one second when the when the current is 5 milliampere, the slope is same. At that time, your this diode will get turned on and current will start flowing. Okay, so that means from zero to one second there is no current in the Regina diode because zero to one second the voltage here current is less less than five milliampere so this is not five volts okay so at so zero to one there is no current and after <coughs> after uh, one second to two second when current is increasing okay up to going up to 10 10 milliampere then there is no further increase in current here so whatever extra current is coming that going through here because here once this is the first five volt fixed, this voltage is fixed, the resistance is fixed, current is fixed. Okay. So from five M five ampere to so current will be here fixed five milliampere. Remaining five milliampere to ten milliampere current will be flowing through IZ. Okay. Because this is your I and I is equals to your IZ plus IL. Okay. So here current should be first current should be here five L five five L five milliampere. Okay. After that, remaining current will pass through here. So, so after one second, current will pass through here, and because remaining five milliampere, okay. So this will be five milliampere, okay. And again, from two to three second, two to three second, when current is again here five milliampere, current will flow here, and again the current will become zero. So in a Gina diode, current will flow only between 0, 2, and 3, 3 for 3 seconds, and 4 seconds it will be 0. Okay. So this is the profile. This is the profile of current through Gina diode. Okay. 1, 2, 3. And and this is given. So this is given as option also. This is the correct answer. Are you getting this question? If you doubt, please ask. Lakshmi, okay. Anyone in doubt in question? We pass milliampere current flowing from 2 to 10. Okay. So the first current will not flow from here. So it on yoga. I score on uniquely you have a pass milliampere current flow on a jury. So you have a pass milliampere current flow. So you have a current fix. So you have a current fix. So you have a remaining current will flow through the Gino diode. Okay. From here, here to here. So here I am plotting zero. Okay. So, so zero to five milliampere current will flow in between this time period from the Gina diode. So this is the correct answer.
So you have been given a minus volt op amp. Okay, this is your one kilo ohm, and here they are giving you thermistor. Thermistor whose whose resistance changes with temperature. So the resistance is. 3000 ohm okay at 25 degree centigrade and they say the resistance of this thermist thermistor decreases with increase in temperature and per degree centigrade increase in temperature the decrease of resistance is 150 so the resistance okay drops by minus 150 degree ohm, 150 degree ohm per degree centigrade if you increase the temperature. Are you getting my question? The, the resistance is 3000 ohm at 25 degree centigrade. Now, if you increase the, the temperature, okay, the voltage get drops, okay, and that voltage drop is 150 ohm per each degree, each degree increase of uh, this uh, temperature, okay. So they are asking what is the output B output at 30 degree centigrade. Tell me what will the output 30 degree centigrade. So what is the formula I should I should use here? B not equals to if I say R and I say this is RT, so my V0 is what? Minus RT upon R, V input. And now V input is fixed. R is also fixed, only RT changing. Okay, so at 30 degrees centigrade, what is RT value? Tell me. At 25. 20, uh, yes, 25 degree, it is 3000. And it decreases 150 each degree. Okay. So this is 3000 minus zero. This becomes 750. Okay. 750. So this becomes 2250. Okay. So V0 will be minus 2250 upon 1000 into minus 1 volt. So minus minus cancel one volt. Okay. So this will become how much? 2.25 volt. We know what will be the answer. Okay. Uh, a question asks that your x is varies as a log of x. Okay. X varies as a log of x. So you want to make a circuit. Okay. Open circuit, which gives you output, which is proportional to x. Okay. Y is function of x. Okay. So if you're giving y, x varies like this, log x, okay? And they're asking you have to make a v output as a function of x, that is x is proportional to e power y. That means you have to make a anti-logarithmic circuit or exponential circuit. So your, your input is y, then your output should be e power y. So that is a logarithmic circuit. So they are given some four options. They're asking which of the option is correct. So you know the for logarithmic and anti-logarithmic circuit, you know, with, with diode. So what is the anti-logarithmic circuit? This is your, so the anti-logarithmic circuit, we put a diode here. Okay. And here we have resistance. And here you're applying V input. Okay. So this is the circuit for uh, here output. If you apply Y here, input Y here. Okay. The output will be 
e power y this is a exponential circuit so this is the correct option exponential okay similarly if i want logarithmic output then for logarithmic output this will be minus plus here you have your resistance okay and here you will be having your diode okay here v output will be log of x whatever you apply here so in this question they ask this one so this is the correct option So in the question, they are asking that IV characteristics, okay, of a certain device are given by this equation, V naught upon square, okay. So these are the IV characteristics of some device is given by like this, and where I zero and V zero are constant, I zero and V zero are. constants okay so in the question they are asking if i plot i versus v graph okay then how can i from the plot hike how, how can i calculate i naught and v naught so so let us if i want to plot if i want to get the geometrically if i want to uh this parameter how how can i get so let us take under root so this will be i this will be i naught so this will be your one minus v upon v naught okay now if i plot i okay this is my minus i naught v upon v naught and this is my under root i naught okay so this is the equation like a y y equals to minus mx plus c type of equation so if i plot this curve so this plot will be go going like this if i put this is a y equals to under root i and if i put v equals here v so at v equals to zero okay your, this will be your i naught so this will be your i naught i naught okay and if i put i no i equals to zero okay then what will become if i put i equals to zero here then my v become what if i equals zero then this has become zero minus i naught v upon v naught i naught i naught i naught cancel plus i naught i naught i naught cancel okay so this becomes v equals to v naught okay v equals to v naught here so now in the question they ask how can i be how can we find i naught and v naught so so i naught is simply a y intercept okay y intercepts and x and v naught is the x intercept but the question this x intercept is not given okay they are trying to get this v naught in some other way so how can we calculate the v naught another way i can i can calculate the slope of this graph so slope of this graph will be what slope of this graph will be your simply minus i naught upon v naught this is slope of this graph okay now if i divide this slope of if i take the ratio of y intercept to the slope okay if i take the negative of y intercept okay if i take negative of y intercept okay to the ratio with the slope that ratio will give me what minus i naught and minus i naught upon v naught this is also this ratio is also equals to v naught okay the option they are given the correct the option is there that you can find i naught using y intercept and you can find v naught using the ratio of these two quantities plot okay and this is option given is option d and this is your correct answer
So let us see some question from digital also. So they given you JK flip flop. Okay. And both are connected to your plus VCC. This is Q, this is Q bar. And here you're applying a clock. Okay. Clock you're applying whose frequency is F. So they are asking what is the frequency of output? What is the frequency of output? Okay. So this is JK flip-flop, okay? It acting in which mode? If J equal to one, K equal to one, then JK flip-flop is working in which mode? Can anyone tell me? If J equals to one, K equals to one, then next state will be what? Toggle. It will always toggle. If J or K are one, higher VCC, then it will always toggle. For example, this is the, uh, this is a positive cycle. Okay. Positive, uh, positive is triggering suppose. Okay. So if I, well, this is my input. This is my input. Okay. And if I say it's a positive triggering uh, clock. Okay. So they say this is a positive triggering clock. Here it will trigger. And my output is coming here. And this Q is coming here. So Q is always toggle. Suppose it is zero. So it becomes one. If it is one, it becomes zero. So it will, it will toggle here. And then again, it will toggle here. 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 Again, toggle, toggle here. Okay. So the frequency of Q is what? If this is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, and the frequency is what? F by 2. Okay. So if this is the frequency of clock is F, then this first output, this frequency will be is F by 2. And that is answer, that's the only question they asked. Okay. But what is the <coughs> frequency of this? Output. Now they have given a SR flip flop. SR Q. Q bar, okay. And they are here, they have put the two end gates. Okay. And end gate is coming here, here. They given you clock. Okay. Here they given you a parameter J, K, and here they say this is a pin two and this is a pin one. Okay. So and this connect this output of the connecting the character is R. Okay. So in the question, they're asking if I want to make this flip-flop. Okay, this is basically a SR flip-flop. If I want to work is I want to convert in a JK flip-flop. Okay, then what where I should connect this one and two. Okay, where I connect connect this one and two. Okay, so this is a basic conversion of SR flip-flop to JK flip-flop. So what are the conversion equation for? Tell me what is the conversion equation? If I want to make S in from J and R like this, so what is the equations? Conversion equations of flip flop. What are the conversion equation? S to R flip flop. Radhika, see now you're coming going for exam. This these things you should at least remember fast. Huh? Digital and electronics is very simple. They are not much things. If you revise to four to five hours, everything for formulas and concept will be in your in mind. What are the equation for S and R? So for S, you should have Z Q bar, and for this way you should have R Q. So if I want to make 
this work this flip flop is a jackie flip flop i should connect pin 1 to What is the answer? Okay, am I audible? Yes. So let us do one more problem. You have been given two variable x and y. Okay. And here they are going here in a D flip flop. And the output of this D flip flop is also connected to in XOR gate. Okay, and here you are applying a clock also. Okay, so this is a D flip flop. Now they are asking, what is the state diagram of this flip flop? Okay, a state diagram means if your flip flop is in zero state, A is zero state, then it goes to one state. Okay. If I want to make this a zero state and this is a one state, if I want transition from zero to one state, then what should be the value of X and Y? Okay. And if I want to make transition from zero to zero or one to one in that condition, what are the values of X and Y, which will make this transition state diagram. Okay. Because this output can be however in two, two states. Okay, the state diagram means with how much which states which follows. So it can have only two states, zero or one. And what combination make x and y, x or y can make turn this as a zero to one or one to zero or zero to zero or one to one. Those all options we have we need to find out. Okay, so now we have x, we have y. So x can be zero 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 one 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 one. Okay, your Y can be 0, 0. Uh, so if it, is, if it is 0, is Y can be hmm, I say 0, 0, 1, 1. So what should I write? 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. And the present state, I'm writing present state of A. Okay, next state of A. So when the variable is 0, 0, present state can be 0. When variables are here, 0, 0, present state can be 1. Okay, when this is 0, 1, this can be 0. This is 0, 1, this can be 1. Okay, so I'm, I'm taking all the possible cases. So if this is a one zero, this can be zero. If it is a one zero, it can be one. Present the state. If it is a one one, it can be zero. It is a one one. Okay, it present the state can be one. And now we have to find the next state. Okay, I need to find the next state. Next state already is there. Okay. Now, if variable is x zero, a zero zero, then automatically this become ones. Okay. And the present state is zero that is also coming here. So this becomes zero one. So whenever, whenever you have a zero one XOR gate, okay, XOR gate, uh, XOR gate gives zero for similar, similar, similar output. Okay. It gives one when the inputs are different. Now inputs are different. So here, here it will come D. Okay. 
So for 0, 0, the input D is 1. And whenever there is a 1, okay, output will change. Next state will be your set state in D. Okay, if D is 1, Q, Q bar, if Q is 0, D becomes 1. If D is 1, Q is 0, it remains 1. Okay. If D is 0, it's 0, it remains 0. If D is 0, it is 1, it becomes 0. So, so D equals to 1 is set the state and D is equal to 0 is reset the state. So now D equal to 1. So this, this goes to higher state 1. Okay. Similarly, again, now the next state is your 1. Uh, now second case, your present state is 1. So present is at one for zero zero. This is a one one. Now this D becomes zero. This becomes zero. So your next state will be automatically one or zero. What is the next state? If the present state is one, this present state is one, which is going here, and you are playing zero zero. This coming one. This becomes zero. D becomes zero. Then the next state will be what? Zero or one? Anyone? Nisha? Sir, zero. Zero. Okay. So you are applying zero here. Next it will be zero. Very good. Okay. Similarly, now you can do for other variables also. Now you apply zero one here. When you apply zero one again to zero. Your output will be one. Okay. Now, depending on whether it is coming zero here, then to be D will be one. Okay. If it's uh, D will be one, if it's coming zero here, if it is coming one, then D will be your zero. Okay. So you are applying one, zero, this become one. If you have zero, one, it becomes zero. Okay. Similarly, here, you uh, this zero, one, zero, one case, same. Now, if you're applying one, zero, so one zero case also, this is one, one zero case also, this is one. Okay. And if and this is the one and you're applying zero, you get one here. Okay. One zero one, you're applying one, you get zero here. Okay. Now one, one, one. So this becomes zero and this becomes zero, zero, zero. Okay. So this becomes zero. Okay. One, one, zero. And if this is one, if one comes here, this becomes ones. Okay. Now you can apply the output. So when you're applying one, it's become one, zero, it's become zero, it's become one, zero apply, it's become zero, one, zero, one, okay. Zero, one, zero, 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 one, 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 okay. Now we can write a transition. If I want to make transition from zero state to one state, okay. If I want to make transition from zero state to one state, what are the variables? So zero to one. I need zero zero. The variable x y is zero zero. Okay. Zero to one. I need a variable zero one. Variable zero one. Okay. I'm I'm taking I'm going going from zero to one. Okay. Zero to one. Zero to one. I need variable one zero. Okay. Then zero to one is not there. Now if I want to want to go one uh, zero to zero which is zero to zero, there's only one state. You need one, one, okay? So if I want to go from zero to zero, I need variable one, one, okay? Now I want to go one, two, zero. One, two, zero is this. One, two, zero is this. One, two, zero is this. So one, two, zero is zero, zero. Okay, one, two, zero, uh, and one, two, zero is again zero, one, zero, one. Okay, zero one and one two zero is one 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 two zero again one 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 two zero is sorry one two zero is your one zero one zero okay so this can make transition and if I want to make one to one transition so one to one make transition is only we have this one okay one to one so if I want to tension from one to one, this is your one to one. Okay. So basically, okay. So I can write here zero, 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 one, one, zero. Okay. 
So from this variable, I can make transition from zero to one and similar same transition, I can make zero to one here. And if one to one is there, it will go to zero to zero. If it present is zero, it will go zero. If present is one, it will go to one if the variables are one, one. So this kind of diagram is called your state diagram. Okay. And this is the correct answer for this question. If you're in doubt, please ask. So if function f is given 5, 7, 8, 13, 15 plus d equals to 0, 1, 2, okay? And you need to find the minimize expression, a, b, c, d, minimize expression of this one, okay? Tell me what will the mini minimize expression? Solve and tell me what is the minim minimize expression? And I'm drawing one more question. Yes. Tell me what will the answer of this question? So zero, one, two, zero, one, and two. And then you have a five, seven, eight, five, seven, eight, ten. Okay. Then you have how then you have a 13 and 15. Is that correct? Check whether I have done correctly or not. So the states are same. Okay. That is 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 5. Okay. This is 5. 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. This is what? 7. Then one 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 zero one then it is how much one one zero one it is is correct or not one one zero one this is one okay two power two four two power three eight this becomes 13 13 is there okay then one 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 this is 15 is correct okay then one zero one zero zero so it, this has become what uh, one zero 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 
So this is your eight. Eight is there, and this is your ten. One zero, one zero, ten is there. So this is correct. Okay. So tell me what is the what is the minimize answer? Minimize. So if I want to make minimize, we'll make one this one. Okay. And if I write here, so this is a C bar, D bar, C bar, D, C D, C D bar. Okay. This is your A bar, B bar, A bar, B, A B. This is your A B bar. Okay. So here you say which is common. D is D is your this one. And if you you go here, your B, B D. Okay. And remaining this two, you have to make the group. With this four. So here D bar is common. D bar is common. Okay, D bar is common for this group, and here if you see B bar, and here B bar, B bar is common. So this is the minimize expression for given question. Now see this circuit. Okay. I have given you two diodes. Okay. Which has 0 0.7 cutoff voltage. 0 0.7, 0 0.7 cutoff voltage. Okay. So you're asking in the question, what is the value of V and I? Okay. What is the value of V and I? You have to find V and I value. And the question okay so i am doing this question in two different way okay i'm making this question into two two, and two different way the first case diodes are ideal diode are ideal because it will help to understand the question very easily and second case i am making diode okay for which v gamma is 0 0.7 so in this way, you can understand this question. Okay. I'm calling this diode is D1 and I'm calling this diode is D2. Now, first thing is I have to find which diode is conducting. Now, if I, if I look like this, so these all diodes, okay. This is connected to minus three volt. Forward bias, forward bias, forward bias, forward bias. So by looking this, it, it looks like that both diodes should conduct but but actually if you want to see if both diode cannot conduct simultaneously okay for that you have to write you have to calculate the what is vd across this one okay so i am taking first case so first case say i am saying uh this so uh, so there are four cases okay so d1 and d2 both are non-conducting both are open okay the second case we may be D1 and D2. Okay. Both are, or I say D1 is close and D2 is and, uh, D1 is open and D2 is conducting. Conducting. Okay. Third case can be D1 is conducting. Conducting and D2 is open and fourth case is D1 and D2 both conducting. Okay. There, these four options can be there and we have to check this all the four options accordingly. We have to decide what, what will the V and I in the question. Okay. So let us say, say first both are open. Okay. The so first case, if I say both are open. Let us say both are open. So this is zero. Okay. So here you have one volt. Okay. And here, so, so you one volt come This is this is you have one volt here. Suppose you have one volt battery here that is grounded. Okay. And that is here you have. 
थ्री वोल्ट बैटरी कनेक्टेड हियर एंड देन यू हैव ए माइनस थ्री वोल्ट बैटरी माइनस प्लस व्हिच इज ग्राउंडेड थ्री वोल्ट बैटरी कनेक्टेड हियर एंड दिस इज टू किलो ओम सो बेसिकली दिस सर्किट मींस व्हाट दिस सर्किट मींस दिस इज आल्सो कनेक्टेड टू ग्राउंड दिस इज आल्सो कनेक्टेड टू ग्राउंड दैट मींस आई कैन से this battery is connected to both the circuits this battery is connected to both the diodes okay so if i say this is my battery this is my battery like this i can say this is here it is like this okay so this this battery goes to here and here both okay now let us say i say both the diodes are off okay so let us write now the equations so say the voltage drop is vd1 here voltage drop is vd2 here okay okay so now if both are open if both are open okay then what is the voltage drop across these two across these two uh diodes say this is vd1 and vd2 okay let us write first this expression and this, this loop first i will go for through this loop okay so i will write equation minus 1 plus vd1 okay plus vd1 and this is your because no current is flowing okay so what i can write here uh, this voltage is v i am writing this voltage is v one minute this voltage is v or not question yeah this full voltage is v this full voltage i am writing is v okay minus 3 volt that means this full voltage is v okay so what should i write here minus uh, minus 3 or what should i write minus 3 uh minus 3 uh, minus 3 okay equals to 0 this gives me vd1 equals to 4 okay similarly if i go here this gives me what vd2 minus 3 plus vd2 plus minus 3 equals to 0 vd2 equals to 7 volt okay so that assumption is wrong if i say okay if i say this that this, they are both open but but open if they are open okay but i am getting here positive voltage across this these two diodes so they cannot be open okay now let us say take second case second case say both are conducting if both are conducting and the ideal case both are conducting okay both are conducting and ideal case this one minute it will be clear to you okay so this will be diode Here also is a diode, okay. And this is two kilo ohm. I is coming here. This is minus three volt, plus one volt, and plus three volt. Okay. Now if both are conducting, then they I can replace by short circuit. I can replace by short circuit. Okay. Now what will become? Tell me. The voltage of here is one or three. Voltage here is one or three. That cannot be there. They simultaneously, this voltage cannot be same. Are you getting this point? Okay, so this is also not possible. You both cannot be both cannot be connecting connect connecting simultaneously. Okay, so that also not possible. Now the second case, I take D one is open. D one is open and D two is conducting. D two is conducting. Okay, D two is conducting. This is three volt. This is one volt. okay and this is my resistance minus 3 volt 2 kilo ohm okay let me write now find out what is vd1 and i and vd2 okay so if it is conducting the voltage is here is 3 okay and current is flowing here now if i write vd1 so this will be minus 1 plus vd1 voltage here okay plus this voltage is plus 3 and this is minus 3 oh yes one minute so this voltage is 3 okay so ha huh, you can see now here 
now if if it is 3 volt this 3 volt okay now vd1 is what this this diode is there okay here you are applying 3 volts and here you are applying uh, 1 volts 1 volts so this become al already in reverse bias na this this diode there is a 1 volt here 3 volt here so this become already uh, reverse bias so this is correct this is true so this can be you are in reverse bias it is correct okay it is coming reverse bias now let us find out for here okay here if i want to find out vd2 so 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 obviously if if i say this conducting this automatically comes uh, off okay if i say this is this is con this conducting this is off this assumption is correct okay now you can take oppose oppose opposite of approximation you can say now this is conducting and this is off then what will happen say let us say this happen okay so minus 3 so this is a 1 volt so this is conducting so this become 1 volt okay now i am saying this open but this cannot be open because there are 3 and 2 1 are you getting my question carefully listen you see this, this question this very important question if I say this is conducting, this is off, then this one volt is ideal. This is one volt, this one volt come here. And this is three and this one volt here. I'm, I'm saying this is open, but now this cannot be open because this is a positive biasing is across this one. So this assumption is wrong. Okay. The only assumption is correct what that this, this is conducting and this is not D1 is off. D2 is on. D2 is on. And D1 is off. For these type, this type of questions, if the diode is connecting, connecting here uh, parallel, uh, parallelly, so the diode which has a higher voltage, that will conduct first, and other because if you have both are conducting, then both are in parallel. But this voltage cannot be same, na? If they are both both parallel, both connecting, then this one and three, they, they, this is not equal. This is not possible. So both both open are also not possible. I have shown you both conducting are not possible either this can be on or either this can be on okay so when where is higher voltage there that will become on other will be off okay so here what is there your d2 is uh, on and d1 is your off okay in the case and now you can find what is the uh, current flowing in this in the, in the in the question okay very easily so difference is what the difference is this one uh, uh, one minus three volt okay so what will the current so current will be IR voltage drop here. If this voltage drop is V here, okay. So this, what will the value of this one? So three, three minus. Tell me what what will the current? Tell me now. If it's three, what will the current? So current will be basically this is a three volt, and this is a minus three, three minus plus three, and the value of resistances in the question is given two kilo ohm. Okay. So your current will be two kilo ohm. That is three three plus six two into ten to power three. That is three milliampere in the ideal case. Okay. Now if I take the diode is now main question coming diode is cutoff voltage is zero point seven. Okay. Then what will the case? Okay. So this will be on always. You can check it again. And I'm saying this is conducting. This is conducting. So this is the voltage here zero point seven. Okay, so here remaining voltage will be 3, 0 0.7 and it's minus 3 and here resistance is current is flowing I and resistance is R. So I want to find what is voltage here. Okay, so 3, the voltage V will be was simply 3 minus 0 0.7, that voltage will be 2.3 volts here. Okay, and if I want to find current, okay, so I have to write the equation Kirchhoff law. So Kirchhoff law says minus 3 plus 0 0.7 plus I into R and minus 3 equals to 0. So I into R equals to 6 minus 0 0.7 and your I is equals to 5.3 upon R. R is 2 kilo ohm. Now if you can solve this one, this will give you the value of current. Okay, and the value of current is question is given 2.65 milliampere. 2.65 milliampere. Okay, so let us see this question again. If this is conducting, this is off. 
that this become voltage one volt. Okay, this voltage become one volt. So this is one and this three. Now this this cannot be this cannot be off. Okay, so this this is also on. Okay, so that assumption is wrong. That in, uh, this is off and this is on. This assumption is wrong. Okay. Second case, I so I say this is on and this is off. If this is on, this voltage is three volt and this is one volt. This is off. So this assumption is correct. Okay. If I say both are off, okay. If I both are off, then that I have already calculated VD and VD VD two. If I if I say both are off, if I say both are off, then what will become? This will be the case. This will be the case. Then you have to write calculate VD one and VD two. If I calculate VD one, okay, so this will be again one uh, minus one plus VD one, okay, and <coughs> what should I write here? Here, what what should I write here? Here, so now no current is flowing in the circuit, so voltage V will be same like this minus three. Okay, so this will be minus three equals to zero, and V D one is coming out of four 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 volts. And similarly, if I write here this one, so three minus three plus V D two and minus three equals to zero. So V D two is coming six volt. So now it's showing both the both are conducting. Okay. So that assumption also wrong. Both can, both cannot be open. Okay. Now the last option. See, both are conducting. If both are conducting, so then both can be replaced by a battery of zero point seven, zero point seven, and zero point seven. Okay. And the voltage of this one, this point is what? One minus zero point seven, zero point three, and here voltage three. Minus zero point seven two point three. Okay, they cannot be both same. Or you can say if this is a connecting. Okay, so this is all automatically uh, reverse bias. If this voltage is to two point three volts. Okay, then this is this this is automatically reverse bias. Okay, so the only option is correct that your D one is off and D two is on in this question. I hope you understand the question. Okay. So I am stopping here now. If you have question about any question about this one, you can ask me. Okay, thank you.